Hello everyone, welcome to Excalibur's Minecraft. This is Excalibur and I am standing in my room here on the server. Or, so you might think, I am actually in a test world. I thought I would give you guys a small tutorial on my secret door. So, here we go, we'll go in, I'll show you how it works. Uh, oh, that's the light switch. So, um, how does it work? Jump up here? No, you can't jump on the bed. Uh, well, I'd like to throw things off bridges, so, uh, I don't know, that looks like a bridge. Go ahead and throw it, and look at that. Woo! And then I'm off, running away. Whoa. Well, basically, it's a simple double piston secret door kind of hideaway space, and, uh, here we have all the works. See all this black wool is actually constraints I had because the single floor actually pointed to... Ah! I know what I did wrong. This needs to go away. This needs to go away. That needs to go away. And that needs to go away. Um, please wait one moment while I fix what I did wrong. <laughs> okay. So there we go. There's that. Can't go in there. I'll show you the light switch, how I did that too. So, what I need to do is fix this little puppy. Uh, we need a pressure plate here. We need a wall there because I knew I had actually and I can get rid of this constraint here um, I knew I had actually hidden all the redstone behind the wall and uh, I'll just do this so that it's like I have hidden everything and I will put the floor right there. there we go all right, I'll just take a quick sneaky shortcut. That means I need to get rid of this and to grab a sign. Sign, signs everywhere, the signs. Then aiming right here, boink. All right, now it's actually offset a little bit to the right, but this is the basic premise. Uh, let's get the right picture. I wish it wasn't random for the stupid pictures. You should be able to right click and um, change based on right click. That would be awesome. But right now, uh, okay, there we go. Um, so you just walk in. I did throw it. There we go. Hey, look at this. And these are actually filled with torches. I'll just put some. Uh, normal torches in real quick. So I've got the basic construction down. I'll show you how to build it too. It's actually very, very simple, very low wire base. Now and then when you walk out, you just do that. And then doop, gives you enough time to close. And the pictures, uh, this actually looks better. <laughs> um, Alright, so basically, um, this black wool is uh, constraints I had on our on my server this goes down to our giant mushroom farm room and this actually leads to our farm with all its irrigation and everything so I couldn't build up higher than this one block and uh, I couldn't build below the floor on most spots because of the size of this room room well and uh, these blocks here is actually another players room so I did not want to um, infringe on his space by breaking through and all that stuff. I needed this, this to be as uh, simple as possible so that, uh, um, well, not as simple as possible. I needed to make this as slim as possible so that I could actually get in and out without any fuss or muss. 
and that would actually have a torch back there because we don't want monsters spawning. And uh, the same thing here because it sucks when you're trying to sleep and the zombie's moaning next door. Now, really quick, I will show you how this light switch is done. On the other side of this block here that has this torch is a switch in the up position. That's normally off. So we invert the light switch with a uh, um, with redstone torch. So we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that for now. Grab a red wool. So say you have this is your powered source, and you just go ahead and throw power to it really quick. So this block is now energized. Um, when a block is energized, if you throw a torch on it. Um, any torch that is touching, that is actually built on this block, will be set to off. It's an inverter. So a signal comes in, this is energized, these are not. So if we throw down this block here and throw a torch on the side, you should see that it's on because these are off. Now if we remove the power source here, all these torches turn on and this doesn't turn on. <laughs> then turn off because there's no power into that block. There will now. So we're just creating a chain. Boom, boom, boom. This is just a really easy way to invert signals back and forth, back and forth. If we throw a torch there, then that's on, that's off, that's off, and that's back on. So, um, generic B does a really good job of explaining why that works. Um, through the use of primary um, power and secondary power like that. Look him up on YouTube, Generic B, and I think that's a G-E-N-E-R-I-K-B. I learned a lot of redstone by watching his Redstone Wars videos. Well, anyway, I'm not going to build the whole room or anything, just the walls and stuff um, to show you. But uh, in any case, this light switch over here um, is on the other side and when you flick it down it applies power here which turns that off turning this off and turns that on turns this off well energizes that then turns this off and this goes away and that actually turns off so if we come here hit the switch and come on back out you will see that is now off which means this is unpowered, which means this should be powered, which means this is powered, which means this is unpowered, and this is unpowered, therefore the light is unpowered. So we'll go ahead and flick it back on. Yay. Um, we, I did use that principle here, but I think I like this design better than <laughs> the one I actually have, because I put the inverter here instead of messing around with a crap ton of different stuff. Well, uh, what happens here is we throw an item on a wooden pressure plate. Um, there are two different types of pressure plates. There are stone pressure plates and wooden pressure plates. If we put a stone one here and a wood one here, we'll go ahead and put some redstone off each one. You'll see that when a player walks on it, the redstone lights up. This uh, means that we're powering the blocks around it. And I believe it's only the cardinal directions, as you can see, north, south, east, and west. Um, and the player does it both. But uh, wooden pressure plates allow items to turn them on, but stone pressure plates do not. So that's the magic behind this, because what we're doing is using the wooden pressure plate's ability to turn things on and off. Now because this is on, it's sending a signal here. Do 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 goes through a series of maximum repeaters down here. And then the signals boosted up here into this block. This block is now powered, which turns this torch off, which causes these two sticky pick pistons to retract. Um, it's an automatic switch system. It's set up so that when you throw in something and you walk by it, you pick up the item you threw. And then you can keep on going while this closes behind you. It will give you enough time to get through 
before it closes again because sometimes on servers there's lag and you can get stuck trying to run through if you press a button or something like that. So, how does this all work together? Well, paintings for one are items that you can walk through. If I were to set up a standard secret door, so we'll just go ahead and build one here. Okay, this is a standard secret door that you could possibly find if we used a painting. Uh, we also need a sign here. Uh, come here, sign. Um, what you do is you put a sign here because signs are entities. Uh, they just happen to be entities you can walk through. You, 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 they have. They do not have a hitbox that blocks the player from moving. But they do have a hitbox that allows items to actually stick to them. Oops. Maybe I should pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. So if I do this right, we should get some... Oh, there we go. Now, hey, you can't walk through here, but looky that. You can walk through here without issue. Um, you can get a big 4x4, four four, so... Let's see if we can make the wall big enough to accommodate a 4x4 four four painting. We'll see if one will spawn here. There, I've got an issue with the paint, with the art in my texture pack here. Getting the bigger ones more anyway. Eh. Um, but this is a very simple and effective hidey the door kind of deal. And I can never get the big ones because there's like two out of however many pieces of art you can have, 22 or something like that. But this is a good indicator. Indicator here. You can go ahead and put more artwork on here. Like, if I could get another 2x2, two two, there we go. And then there's that. And you can just fill things out and make it look like an art wall or something like that. But as long as you don't say anything you can actually just walk through here you could make it a little bit simpler if you got rid of that and I uh, grabbed a trap door put this right here wow. and then you go ahead and put in a painting because uh, trap doors are blocking entities you can actually attach things to them see if I can get a four by four there we go but you can't walk through this time what 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 you actually have to reach you and know where that trap door is so it's like in the middle oh, you can't really get through it oh well yeah, I was clicking right on it. But the painting keeps you from even opening that. What you can do is put like a mine card on the other side, right click, or some other stuff. Anyway, um, I saw somebody do that. I can't remember their name. Tykin, I think. Maybe Static. I can't remember. Anyway, using that principle that you can walk through paintings. Now, uh, see, you can throw it in, but you have to throw it far enough to hear the card. You walk through, grab your item, and keep going. You hear it shut if you're lucky and not moving fast. Alright, so really quick tutorial. We're going to go ahead and build a 2x2 two two wall. That's going to be our where we're going to attach our painting. Put a sign here. Um, and a block there. I'm going to put another block here. And on that block we're going to throw in Oh, I should get an assign. There we go. There's our pressure plate. Let's go back over here, grab our painting. We need that. At this point, you can try and find your 2 by one um, Right here, we can have a wall, or we can um, 
have our sticky pistons right there. We're done with the painting, so we'll go ahead and chuck that, grab our sticky piston. And what we want is sticky piston two away. One, two, just like that. I'm going to attach our wall. And right here is where the corner of the wall will be. So here we are. On this side, what we're going to do is just, there we go, string out our redstone. And I'm not doing the digging or anything like that. I'm just taking you through the basics. The rest is you can dig down and um, hide it just by doing that and covering it up with a block like this. You can't put a block there because it will actually um, cut off the redstone signal, but you can do that. And then if you had your wall like this, you wouldn't see it. I just want to keep this uh, world clean, so let me just grab my grass block. All right, back to what? Uh, here we go. Doo -doo -doo. Now this right here will be enough to energize this and close that up. So when we're on this side, we see, hey, look, there's no room. And what we want is one, two, three, four repeaters. One on the maximum setting. And then just two redstone splotches there and there. Now, whenever we... Uh, hit our pressure plate Oop. how about I throw that high enough it'll take a second we'll pick up our items we run through and it'll close up after we get through and there it is run through, grab our item and run this way and we can watch it close and that's all there is to it, it's a very simple you could get more elaborate, you could um, we only have one inverter and that's right here um, but it inverts only when something is on the pressure plate. I can never get that throw right. There we go. So you can see that we get that energy here and it powers off. And let me show you that so you can see the signal go slow. So, pow. The signal. And then see it go by slow that's the timing so that you can run through and not get crushed so there you are this is uh, how I've set up um, many of my secret doors I think I actually missed yep so one thing you can do is if you think you missed like I tend to always do so nothing happened, you're like, oh crap, there you go, just walk up and you'll just grab it again. There we are. Now this is one of the first things you generally learn with Red Sun. I learned it more recently. So um, that in a nutshell is that. Um, there are other ways to do it, through like buttons or levers. Um, at one point, you could actually look at a glass pane and cause a red redstone signal to transfer um, based on the hitbox of uh, said glass pane, and it would cause other glass panes to um, shrink up and blah, 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 blah. But uh, to tell the honest truth, I never really... Um, got that to work. I tried. Oh yeah, yeah, I tried. But it just never wanted to work for me. Ooh. Now, man, this is it's almost feeling like home. There we go.
and here we are. Home sweet home. Okay, so I know I haven't been doing a lot of uh, Excalibur's Minecraft stuff. I've just been playing and, and uh, enjoying everything. But, uh, hey, how about I show you another secret? Another one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this, up, this, this, and two this way, two this way. There we go. I'm going to show you something nifty. So say this is, uh, I will make it a little bit wider. So do, do, do. I am not used to flying. Playing almost all the time in survival. There just isn't flying without mods. Okay. Now what I'm going to need is a bucket of lava. And we can get rid of the pressure plate. Whoops. And we're going to need to do that. Alright, so we're going to put lava, 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 lava. And just let it flow downhill. We're going to put some sort of signal right there so that we know what's going on. We need a block here and a block here, like so. We need one rail, which we're going to put right here. We need a minecart, which goes right there. Alright, so say you walk up to this lava flow and there's no way you can get through. None at all. Because, well, people just like using lava. You could walk in and go, oh, I'm burning, I'm burning. Oh, I'm burning, I'm burning. But if you know the secret, you walk up, look straight ahead, right click, and look where you are. You're in a minecart. You teleport right through without a hitch. And this is a bad thing if you want to stop the evil blood dripping down on you. Watch what happens when you do it with a too high ceiling. Ah, well, normally you would uh, take damage. But since I'm in creative, uh, game mode zero. Now, here we go. I could die here very easily. Um, I think I actually set that block, which I didn't want to do. Let's uh, go back into creative and just break the block. There we go. This is the problem. You have to get really close to the lava to begin with, and here we are. Oof. Feel kind of scared. You notice nothing's happening. Step a little bit closer, and you are in place. It's actually working. Huzzah! So what's happening is you're getting up and you're just teleporting into this lovely minecart. When you right click you pop out. Be careful uh, how you set this up. I believe if you come in this way uh, you'll always come out on a certain side. But that is one way to uh, give yourself a secret door, secret entrance into into something. And the thing is, anybody tries to get in, they're going to fry. They're going to fry. They're going to fry. They're going to fry. Going to fry. I believe you could even put a trap door. Where is it? Right there. It's just a guess. So let's let's say there's a trap door there. If you know where the trap door is, notice it's on fire. So that becomes a problem. It could also be the grass that just caught fire. Hmm, let's see. Was it the grass or was it the trap door? Hmm. 
But there you go. And you could even set, if you set that up in such a way, people can't even swim through the lava to get there. Unless they know that it's there and everything. Um, but they're probably going to die before they even get there. Uh, hmm. And I think that's about all I have to show you today. I just wanted to show how I did my secret room. And this is the part that I like. You just walk by and get the thing you threw. Um, it's really easy to see that there's something there if you're looking um, this way because of the where the painting is, and it could just be my texture pack. Um, let's let's go ahead and change this to default. Video settings, texture packs. Ooh, Excalibur. We'll go to default. Done. 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 Do 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 Boy, I love Doku Craft a lot better than the default. No offense, Mo Yang. But yeah, look. The paintings. Uh, the creeper. I, I don't think I really want a creeper creeping on me. But yeah, it, it even happens in default. Um, that the painting texture was exactly the size of the block and was pushed up directly against the block, then that would be even better. Ah. Uh, my eyes, I need to fix them now. There we go. Um, so, uh, why don't I go ahead and show you some of the interesting things about my texture pack. One, uh, we'll go ahead and grab dispenser. We'll grab furnace. We'll grab the crafting table. Anvil. What are the other things that give you um, the GUI? Let's see here. To do, to do. And we'll do the chest. See, these are all just building blocks, I think. Yep. There's that there. I got the dispenser. The rest is normal. There's nothing here. Miscellaneous. Well, there's a book. Book and quill. Um, that's all just food. You can see the food. I actually changed it. Mushroom stew it looks like a mug of beer. Uh, I don't drink beer. I detest it. But I thought that was fun. Nothing there. Of course, nothing there. These are all just potions. Ah, the brewing stand needs to go in there. Um, and then miscellaneous stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Okay, I've got to fix that too. Let's go ahead and place each one of these. So we'll do that. This. 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 Okay. This is everything here. Um, here is the GUI for the furnace. It gives you a nice little rundown of how many items you can smelt per thing. So if you put in, uh, for your fuel, you use wooden planks. Um, it takes 1.5 wooden planks to do a stack. I believe that's what it is. Uh, no, it's not. It's 8 coal or charcoal will do one stack and uh, you can get half a stack with this and so on and so forth I'm not sure if this is a correct number and you can get a hundred um, items with one bucket of lava so that's 64 or something like that so this one bit here this one block does eight that's what it is a stick will do a half of a uh, smelting so if you had an iron ore here and you had one stick you could smelt half that iron ore you could smelt 1.5 iron ore blocks with wooden planks and 100 items with a bucket of lava it's fun huh 
Okay, well, I just want to show you the interface. I liked how I had the stitched leather and everything. Now this is the dispenser, and it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, just put your stuff there. Do do do. Apply a redstone signal, and get the item. Crafting table. That pretty much the same thing. Put your recipe here, and boom, you get your item. Anvil. This doesn't have the same interface as the others yet guy who's been uh, doing those other interfaces um, has not done the anvil yet. The enchantment however has so we can plop stuff there and get the enchantments. Let's uh, grab a tool Yeah, pickaxe will do. The pickaxe, pickaxe will do donkey. Just throw it there and you can see it's nice and green. I wanted to see if putting in um, the standard alphabet in place of the alternative alphabet, the galactic um, alphabet, would actually work. And yeah, you can see stuff. Oh, light ball, ziggy, 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 ziggy. Um, these are all random. They have absolutely nothing to do with the enchantment that's going on, much to my chagrin. Well, anyway, standard inventory for the chest. Yeah. And then the brewing stand. Here we go. This looks nice. I like the way that looks. And it shows uh, the bubbling and you've got your potions down here and your reagent there and all that other stuff. Um, of course you've seen all the blocks. Yabba 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 yabba. Um, one thing I've been doing recently is building uh, benches and it's very easy. One stair, uh, come over to this side and look just over to the other block on the other side of the stairs, bing, and you get the nice little corner. Do the same thing on this side, bing, and you have a bench. Yay! Um, doing tables is, are pretty easy. Let's see here, let's do that and come around to this side. There we go. And uh, now you can do this. And this, my current table looks a lot like this here. And I'm going to need oak wood plank. And I'm going to need wood slab. There we go, oak slab. Those are jungle stairs. Uh, we'll go with, uh, where's the oak stairs? Are there? There's that. We, we do need um, crafting table and we do need chests. So let's go ahead and clean this up and grab a torch. And I'm going to go ahead and put this over over here so that we can see it. So I just did this upside down and this is the edge of our table. Um, I skip one and put a normal square, half and half, crafting table, crafting table, half again, you can't do it because of the way things are setting up, so you need to go one, two, and then put in your stair, 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 get rid of that, then you can do a half here. A half there. And what I did is I like having chests like that. And there's the table that I have in my castle kitchen. You right click, you'll see the chests open up to the inside. Um, and then you can put ingredients and stuff in there and then just right click and craft it as you need to. Um, another way would. Ah, Go ahead and get that in there. Bam. Another way would be to replace this with, say, a furnace. So there we go. Put the furnace in right there. It works. Um, most definitely it works. But I sort of like not having that. So let's see what it looks like if I come from this side instead. That doesn't look too bad. Um, 
the only reason why I really wouldn't want to do this is I've got a wall full of uh, furnaces. But that's a that's a really quick table that you can throw together and you'll be able to access smelting and then you've got your crafting. If you wanted to, you could probably put um, other things on here like brewing stand and a dispenser maybe instead of chests. Now let's see what that would look like if we put a dispenser there. Problem is you need a button or a switch or something to do it. And that would be kind of tricky. So I'm not even going to bother. Um, I sort of like having the furnaces there for the tables. So they look like cutting boards on the top. <laughs> and then this looks like something else. Anyway, um, I think that's a, we'll call it a wrap there. You can see me in my full Excalibur gloriousness here. And uh, until next time, have a good one, enjoy Minecraft, and I am out.